Good afternoon, guys, and thanks for joining me this afternoon. Seriously, seriously, Northerners are protest ready. I have never seen this seriousness before. Maybe before I was born, but since I was born, I've never seen Northerners this serious about a cause, especially Northern Muslims, like they are about this protest on the 29th of July. They are ready, and they have told Bolatinubu, they said there's nothing you will do at this point that will make us to say, okay, we are not going to protest again. And from the statements you have been hearing from different people in power, um, the last was the deputy speaker, you know that these people are jittery, these people are afraid. They have taken the people for a ride for too long. I wish for once Nigerians could unite on this. I wish for once, for just once. Keep tribalism aside, keep religion aside, these people will run away. They will run away, as in, they will run away because the truth is that even the military, even the police, most of them are tired. They won't come out to tell you openly because they will be sanctioned and all of that. But most of them, we don't they talk to many for uh, where we know. We'll just bring talk about this protest. They will say, ah, we don't they wait for an assistance more than one. So had it been this common enemy of tribalism and religion was to be put aside for just this common goal, I'm telling you, within two, three months, these people will run away and leave Nigeria for the real owners, which are the youths. I've never seen Northerners this ready. I've never, I've never, I've never. Eh, going to, to this level, I'm going to be showing you some videos so that you know that, you know what I mean by saying these people are ready. T-shirts, caps, everything with the logo of end bad governance and everything. Wow. 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 I thought it was a joke at first, but seriously, these guys, these guys are serious. Now, I'm going to be showing you that. But before I do that, let me show you what Alain Dume said, you know. After he was demoted from Chief Whip and all of that, he didn't say anything until yesterday when he came out to say some things. And he said he stand by whatever he said. He doesn't care what they want to say. He doesn't care what they want to do. But whatever he said in that interview that has triggered them, he stand by it. Watch him and we'll come back. We'll continue. Gentlemen of the press, good morning. In reaction to what has happened to me, I reviewed severally, several times, from beginning to the end, the interview I granted. I also shared the interview I granted to friends, elders, leaders in this country to review and get back to me to tell me whether I have said anything that is not true or that is wrong in that interview. And unanimously, the people I shared with, and my conviction too, tells me that I did not do anything wrong. I did not say anything wrong. And therefore, I want to state that I stand by all my statements in the interview I, I granted. Secondly, the party that recommended to the Senate that I should be removed from being the chief whip of the Senate, I take that as an act of God. Because if it is God that gave me that position, it is God that took it through APC. So I bear no grudges about that. After all, I did not contest to be the chief whip. I did not contest to be the vice chairman of appropriation committee. I contested to be the Sen one of the senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And alhamdulillah, God granted me that victory. And I'm happy with God, what God has given to me. This morning I shared with you, I am an ardent uh, follower, historical follower of a former famous American president, unpatriotic, to stand by the president in whichever, whatever he does. It is patriotic to speak the truth to not only the president, but anybody for that matter. It is unpatriotic not to speak the truth to power or to anybody, and I still stand by that. 
in doing so, it is also known that in Hausa, I let me put it in Hausa, that Allah yana tarida me gaskia, that God is always with the person that speaks the truth. So I know that I'm not wrong, the people are not wrong by speaking the truth and standing by the truth. And I pray that the president, who now I expect the message I have gotten to him, to look at what I have said and take appropriate measures to eliminate the sufferings of the people. People are suffering. People are suffering. People are angry. People are not happy. I'm happy that yesterday the president agreed with NNC to increase the salary to 70,000 uh, uh, naira, which is a good move. But it takes more than that because uh, realistically, that is like a, a, a bag of rice, a money that will maybe buy a bag of rice or co uh, you know, cover the cost of bag of rice. So I encourage or I call on to the president to still open up and listen. All right, welcome back, guys. I guess you saw it. Now, he said speaking truth to power is something he will continue to do. Alain Dume spoke out during the time of Buhari. I am a witness to that. If there is one person or if there are two people from the north that spoke out against Buhari when Buhari was messing this country up, Alain Dume is one of them and Professor Usman Yusuf. I always mention these two names. So nobody will come and say Alain Dume just start to the talk today because now Southern and they know. Alain Dume have always spoken truth to power even if the person is from his party or not so he said he's going to continue to say the truth and he stands by whatever he said now having said that let me show you how northerners are preparing for this protest i will come back we'll wrap up please watch in as on our office now power design guy and the logo and end ban na ton chi ton for the app because i'm going to go and they go to nanga and then the key design in the action computer and i don't mean in us why i can you put us to say by an agama design and guy and i for instance she by an i for instance guy you couldn't doesn't man now more had the whole energy Mujer Zua. Karena nasi giga na acik masuk domo ambaga aikin dana ini nang gaya na nasi giga zat aku paper dana sana aikin bayar nasi orang di nang hari naga ma friend tentu giga gaya nang zat buat dia aku gaya nang giga teacher susai gaya nang nabu de nasi paper dana saga aikin nang wow gas kau nang aikin ya aikin unik ena nang ya baru nang aikin gaya nang kemarin aku cegar ini nang giga nega tanah nada gata twenty twenty four ing Allah don dada afta agan nang dia go ten June kena gaya nang na ijita bayar nang aja giga gaya nang kwa sena chewa gaya nda kwa hula shima ambiga baya na gama aiche gigo na gaya na nda kuche gani ga giga na na mkumaga shi ina prente nga sa logo achikion hula gaya na kama nda kuche gani gaya nda logo na futu wawu shima faya aiche usu sewa lai na gani na fada doma na saya na ya aiki mecho awa ya nda kaya nga hula na na che ni wapa sena dantana akena baya na gama prente nda hula seme ya gaya mana mjezua Next, abu naga baga yuguna na naga ma aiken su gaba kite en su sawaga saa logo an kampani na do munda anga giga achi wanna ndaga kampani MJ Talent taputu kameda uke gani na nga logo an kampani na 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 yanka shi bayan na yanka logo an kampani na gaya na na chegi kawa isi en lakuwa giga manna amata kameda uke gani na na lakuwa giga nga yana so jamaa kameda uke gani kaya isi nka mala wanda yake bukata a mushin delivery akwai namba na akan bayar dina dai yake rana faka faka mu mun shirya ma danga danga no go yin back all right welcome back guys i guess you saw it omo hey hey don't be spotty though these folks are protest ready i've never i mean it i've never seen these folks this serious when it comes to protest never since i was born even during good luck jonathan they don't prepare for protest like this there was something that um, one of the Islamic clerics came out to say recently, I think yesterday. He said that the poor people in Nigeria have been so cheated that they are, there is no patient, say you don't get patient poor people for this world like the ones within Nigeria. That you deny them health care, they still kept quiet. You deny them education, they kept quiet. You deny them good roads, even security, you deny them, they kept quiet. He said, but you now deny them food. That is the height of it. That is the height of it. Now, I want everybody to keep the... I know, yes, I am one person who say most northerners are hypocrites. Because during Buhari, 
we didn't see this you know strength in condemnation but the truth is that people are going through a lot people are suffering two times of what they suffer during Buhari now it is too much it is too much so if people come out to say we are going to protest or more i support them whether they are coming from the north whether they are coming from the south the east the west i support them but are going through a whole lot many people can't feed many people can't eat many people can't do anything people beg for food people are picking food from waste bins and all of that in a country with abundance where the president in quote is buying jets buying yachts building houses for his vp renovating with billions and all of that and then people say they want to protest now you think you can just send 20 trailers of rice to east it to use and cool people's mind off we are not in need of rice free rice we want to be able to afford cheap rice with our money so northerners have told uh, tinubu there is no going back the protest must hold so the days the coming days will be really fun to see thanks for watching this video and god bless you